So, Robin, uh, are, are women excluded from technology? Is that what this is saying? Is, is, is that what you found from your movie? I don't, I don't know that women are, are necessarily systemically excluded. Although well, someone said that on the movie, right? It's, yeah, she says if we're excluding women. I, I think that um, it's but a very... But is it happening? I think in some cases it is, yes. Um, but I think it's a much more complicated issue than that. I think it starts from uh, stereotypes and mindsets. It, it, it starts from the way you know, girls in even seventh and eighth grade see themselves. It's the way they're being taught. Um, and I think that you know, if you can get through the educational pipeline and the, and the problems, the clogs in the pipeline, if you can get through the hurdles of, of societal stereotypes, um, then you can finally get into the workforce, then I think you've got to get through the misogynistic um, culture, which I think is difficult. So there's, it, it's not easy. Wow. But it's, 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 it's unconscious bias. Mis misogynistic culture. What, what does that mean? You mean that the culture is against women? I would say that the Or hateful to women? Well, hateful is a strong word, Andrew. Well, that's what misogyny means, doesn't it? No, misogyny means... Um, I think that the way, I, I don't think that's, but I think that there's some people that would agree, would agree with you. I think it's um, sexism. So that's not necessarily hatred, I think there's a difference. And I think what a lot of women in the industry find what I've heard, I can only speak to what I've heard, not what I've experienced because I have not been in tech, um, but is that it's death by a thousand cuts. And by the time that you get into the workforce, a lot of it's unconscious bias, a lot of it's sort of latent sexism. So it's maybe not being heard in the meeting, um, and no, your, your voice not being suddenly heard. And you know, 10 minutes later, the, a guy gives the exact same suggestion, suddenly he's brilliant and being promoted. Is it the pink blanket, car? Is that no. the problem? Is that, that's a horrible term, but if you want to use it, no, I don't <laughs> think so. Um, no, I think it's a question of how you create your, your ecosystems and who picks who, and it starts very early on well, with girls. What does girls. that mean, ecosystem? Well, there's an ecosystem in Silicon Valley, like there is in Hollywood, like there is in politics. and so. You have an ecosystem where um, that that begins a long time before with women and girls in science and math, and the pipeline not being strong enough, and uh, subtle hints not to participate in it. I think, or difficulties in joining, which she was talking about it, and then it goes up to venture capitalists who enjoy funding the same exact people over and over again, and they think it's a pattern. It's pattern matching, I guess, is what they're doing, or else they're just stupid, which is, I think, more to the point. Um, and then they, um, and then it just continues from there. And so when you have, you know, a Mark Zuckerberg be successful, um, when you have all these, when you're used to being successful, making the same choices, you make the same choices, and then they think they're being, it's a meritocracy, and that's the, that's the most ridiculous canard. But it's not at all. a meritocracy. No, of course not. I mean, they use this term. You use the term unconscious. I'm trying to get rid of the term unconscious bias, because I think it's just an excuse for being lazy and stupid and not paying attention to things around you. It's like, I didn't notice that there were 10 men on the board of yeah. my company. <laughs> like, how did that happen? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, how did that absolutely. occur? Okay, I'm, uh, I was chair of the computer science department at Stanford for so we about... So, well, you got you to blame, right? For <laughs> well, uh, let's, we'll come to that for a moment. The numbers are getting much better at Stanford. I'm, I'm now a senior associate dean in the School of Engineering, so I'm learning more about the whole school. I'm going to actually throw a little monkey wrench in things here and see what people think. Um, and this is actually a conversation that's been going around on the computer science department faculty mailing list lately. Um, as I understand it, and I think I've got this right, approximately 70% of degrees, college degrees, are awarded to women. Okay? Does that sound right? So let's suppose that 25 or 30% of them are going, 25 or 30% of STEM degrees are going to women let's say, let's do some arithmetic here. That means that there are fields, largely in humanities and sciences, that are 10, 20% men. Are those fields having discussions like this? No. 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 And so what does that say? It wants to change. Oh, it well, does. That's what I'm saying, well-meaning. You get a lot of well-meaning people. Like when I did a piece a couple of years ago called the men and no women of Facebook. This was pre Cheryl got there. And I just put their pictures up. And I said, oh, look at this picture. White guy, white guy, white guy, Indian guy, Chinese guy, you know, white, white guy. guy. White guy, white guy. But are and, we worrying yeah, because in now, the English department it's white woman, white woman, I, white I woman, understand. black well, woman, white woman? We, we should, should be, probably. But, but we're not. But, but and I'm going to argue that that means this is an economic is, issue and not a cultural right, issue. Right, but it's technology is powering. Can you give us some